Okay, well I've got this other welder that wouldn't quite deliver um, the 65 amps I was after. It was only it was only given about 55. So uh, what I've done is I've taken windings off the primary coil, which is the one with well the one with more windings, which is on this side here. You now I've taken about a whole row and a half off maybe 15 turns or something but um, what it does is uh, effectively increases the voltage on the second winding so the higher the volts the more amps that are carried through our long winding so let's just switch it on and see what sort of volts we're getting now we're, we're getting somewhere in the vicinity of I don't know. 45 volts. Yeah. Yeah, about 45 volts originally. So I just. Look at that, we're getting them. nearly 56. There you go, 56. So we've got about. I think it was 48 maybe. So we've got a good. You know, 8 to 10 volts extra. What she was sitting at originally. Anyway, these are the windings that came off it. They're just aluminium windings, and these most welders have got aluminium windings. That one that I picked up has got copper, and that, that gave me about 62 amps. But I, I want to get 65, so I built this thing. We want 65. So anyway, let's uh, let's plug it on and see what we're getting. So I've hooked it on, we've just got it. Oh, I've taken the uh, the choke out of it too, which is the, you know, the adjuster. So it's just flat out, we don't want that in there. We just want maximum, maximum volts, maximum amps. All right, well, let's turn it on. Oh, and it just sucked up a few more tools. Look at that, we're getting, uh, I don't know if you can see that. But look, it's, uh, it's about 66. Yeah, 66. 66 amps, so we'll turn it off now. We don't to cook it up. A couple of tools fell back off there. So we've got 66. That's just beautiful. Um, we wanted 65, now we've got 66, so we've got their magical 65,000 ampere turns, which should uh, absolutely magnetize any mag magneto. So anyway, I just wanted to show that bit, me this welder that I've that I've done the modification to. This is just a, like a Transarc Easy Weld. You pick these up for about 30 or 40 dollars here in Australia. <clears throat> And uh, it's an easy way to, well, you can get more amps out of your welder if you're struggling with the, the 100 and, well, rated 140 amps that they are. Probably reduce the the duty cycle of it a little bit, but um, but for what we've got here, we're only using it for a few seconds. And most welding applications, you, uh, you're not using it for big long runs in one go so you could do it if you needed to but anyway that's it I've hooked up my rectifier just still slap up I'll I'll do a nice job on it and show you that when it's done but I wanted the shorter cable so we weren't getting lost through the cable yeah, look, they're warm, a little bit warm. The first time I've actually got warmth into them, so we're getting some good amps into them now. Um, yeah, so I want to put some um, fiberglass wrapping around there just to protect them so you don't bash them when you're pushing this thing around. It, I said it was, uh, you know, I guessed it to be 60 to 80 kilos, and it actually weighs 95 kilos, this setup, so that's including the trolley, but couldn't imagine there'd be more than. Five kilos. That's pretty lightweight, weak thing. 
So nonetheless, 95 kilos all up, it's a, it's a heavy old thing. So they'd be, uh, be struggling to pick that one up by yourself. Anyway, there you go. I'll make that a permanent fixture, that welder. Dedicated for this magneto recharger. There you go.